continues. Mother Nature hit the city of Tehennis right in its heart. That storm sent strong winds tearing through the downtown area, damaging homes and businesses. Our Katrina Weber joins us live. Katrina, you've been out there since before sunrise this morning. You've learned at least one of those damaged buildings is hundreds of years old. That's right, and it's one of those buildings you can't help but miss when you come to town. It's right here on the main strip, Highway 90. This building behind me that until this morning housed the uh, bank, the post office, and even some businesses. You can see the crews working that bring down what nature didn't. In one morning, nature managed to bring down buildings that are hundreds of years old, dating back to the 1800s. Dehannis has a hole in its heart, or make that several holes. Ripped open roofs and crumbled walls in the center of town, all from an overnight storm. Power lines being down, poles down, uh, pieces of roofs stuck in the power lines. Medina County Sheriff Randy Brown had deputies out as early as 4 a.m. One area of damage they could see, even in the dark, was the building housing the bank and post office. It is from the 1800s and has seen several floods, but this here is a little. A little different. Daylight showed a piece of old Dehannis indeed had been brought down. The storm also did a number on the fire station. So they paid out the fire department to come and help the people. We come to our house and our house is damaged. <laughs> Several families found themselves with the same trouble. Even at his age, Dayton Bernal knew the storm was bad. And my mom um, came in my room and helped me because I was scared. People here are amazed that no one was killed or even hurt. And when you look at things like this, it's easy to see why. That board went right through the wall, just above the head of a woman who was sleeping. While people here made it through unscathed, their city took a punch from which it could take weeks to recover. And some of the damaged areas may not recover at all. In fact, uh, as I pointed out, we have crews taking down part of the building. Sheriff Randy Brown told me that he's not sure exactly how much of this will be able to be saved. A landmark damaged by the storm this morning. Reporting live in Dehannis, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.